What is up guys, I'm back with another video and I haven't done much application videos on the channel but ever since my setup video I've been getting a lot of requests so without any further delay this video will just be going over maybe 3 or 4 essential apps that I use every single day on my Android phone that just makes everything much much easier. So starting it off is an application called Copybubble. So let's say you're reading an article in maybe Google Chrome or anywhere for that matter and you want to copy and paste maybe a paragraph or a line. So you just select that paragraph and you have to excuse this, I'm actually trying to do it on camera. So you select that paragraph and you hit the copy button. But then you see the next paragraph at the bottom you want to copy as well. So instead of pasting the first paragraph and then coming back, just highlight that second paragraph as well and hit the copy button again. Now you can head to wherever you'd like to copy it to and just hit the copy bubble wherever it might be on the screen you can move it around and choose whichever paragraph you'd like to copy, press and hold and just hit paste. And it will paste that paragraph and after you paste that paragraph you can go down a few lines or even right there hit the copy bubble again choose the second paragraph hold down again and hit paste and it will paste that second paragraph and that's basically it for the functionality of copy bubble it just makes everything a lot lot easier than having to go back and forth copy and pasting the second application on the list is called link bubble so with link bubble let's say you're scrolling through facebook or twitter and you see a link you want to click on but you don't want to actually leave the application and have to come back to it so you just click on that link and continue on scrolling and whenever it loads out just hit the bubble and the web page opens up in that little bubble just like how the facebook chat heads work and from there you can choose either to share it or just close it off it is however limited to one tab if you have the free version but if you want multiple tabs you can always get the premium version up next is an application called noise and it's not in the play store anymore so i'll leave the link in the description but let's say you like any of these volume displays here, you can just select one from the Teams menu and go ahead to turn on the service. And of course you have to enable it in the accessibility options because it's a service after all. And once that's done, whenever you hit the volume up or down button, it will show the volume display that you chose from the Teams menu. So besides just that volume display that I chose, there are actually a lot more options including this one here that I specifically like when using YouTube since it doesn't block over the entire video when changing the volume. And other than that, there are actually some options that offer more functionality over the stock volume displays like this one for example. Noise not just allows you to change the time but before the volume display disappears and basically anything concerning the volume display, but it also adds a lot of extra functionality to the volume buttons as well. For example, right here you'll see it can let you set a shortcut for a long press of the volume up or down button. So previously, Noise was on the Google Play Store as a free application with a premium upgrade or a premium version that unlocked all of the features. But since then the developer has taken it off the Google Play Store and it's now freely available for anyone. So be sure to check the description for the link if you're interested in this application. And as you can see for yourself, it doesn't just work within the application, but it works system-wide. The final application on the list is called Now Gesture Tweaks. And I told you about this in the setup video, but I didn't actually show you how it works. So after opening the application, you can select any of these options here to replace the Google Now Gesture. So for this example, I'll choose the calculator. And as soon as I do the Google Now gesture, you'll see the calculator open. And you can choose any application installed on the device as well as any option available within the Now gesture tweaks application itself. So there's also a lot of shortcuts to turn on and off Bluetooth. And as you can see for yourself as well, this works system wide because it is after all the Google Now gesture. And that's about all the applications I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed them if you didn't know about them already. But if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up below. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button already, feel free to do so now. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments as well. And as always, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.